everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, the overall message for today is we got mending. So, it's just that. It's the number 52. So you could be getting some type of a phone call, somebody wanting to mend a relationship with you, some type of a rift. Um, I do feel like um, someone from the past showing back up that actually wants to sit down and talk with you uh, just to see how things are going. And if there's been any kind of discord in your relationship, I feel like that is getting ready to come to an end. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us changed to, chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes of resentments, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. It's like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die when you're holding on to pain and suffering. That honestly, if you could just learn how to forgive, uh, you could actually transmute the energy and be able to like actually have, uh, you know, our manifestations would be so much easier. So it says, relationship message says, you've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're a to move forward. Separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do, even if you're not aware of it. The energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest, and an honest redress. Prosperity message says everyone makes mistakes, especially when you want something very badly. You may come to realize that in chasing after a petty, shiny thing, you lost sight of the long term. Sustainable property. Sometimes you make choices that look good at first, but ultimately lead to loss or failure. It's time to forgive yourself and others. Don't blame anyone else. You get to start again, wiser and more mature. The journey to true abundance can be bumpy. Make amends to anyone you may have hurt along the way, especially yourself. Forgive those who have, may have taken advantage of you. Let go and learn from this. You are now that much closer to achieving the kind of prosperity that really fulfills you. Nothing is ever lost or wasted when you view it from this perspective. So, you know, you never lose anything. I feel like you just gain wisdom. <laughs> you know, if anything, you did gain the knowledge not to do that again. It's like bumping your head against a brick wall multiple times. I mean, you can only do that so many times before you realize that gives you a headache. Spirit, please show me for June 29th. What messages do we have for June 29th? Spirit, please show me. Okay, well, gave us a couple of messages. All right, so it's saying prosperity lies ahead. So you could be uh, dealing with a Taurus here. Or, and then we also have conclusions are within reach. So I feel like in mending this relationship, I feel like uh, things are things can definitely change for you. I feel like, you know, sometimes when we're holding on and harboring, you know, uh, unwanted, you know, ill, just... Uh, feelings towards another person, I feel what that does is it actually blocks your prosperity. That's what I was talking about earlier. It blocks those things from actually fully coming in. So, I mean, if you really want to, all you have to do is reach out. It's like so close yet so far away. You know, they're only a phone call away. I almost got that Pac Bell for those of you who are old enough that remember the Pac Bell commercials, reach out and touch someone. So maybe that's what you're needing to do. Um, for others of you, I feel like, um, you know, there's new money coming in, new prosperity, uh, new abundance. We're going to read the new moon in Taurus for those of you. Um, it says this card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests that you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. 
This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or a, of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. So it says attuning to the moon, get or give a massage. So for some of you, you do need a massage. I would reach out. Uh, healthy body equals healthy mind. Um, additional meanings for the card says you will soon be able to afford the thing that you're dreaming of. Getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take time out to pamper yourself. Start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. We often feel it is somehow wrong to focus on our finances, but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view. Taurus knows this, and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so that you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember, though, that someone else is still wishing for what you already have. You know, I think all too often we forget that we're actually standing in the... In, in, in the manifestations of something we once wanted. And it's like, as soon as you manifest that, you forget that that's actually something you wanted a long time ago and you end up like sabotaging it. So, you know, keep that in mind as you're moving for, you know, as you move into this next, uh, chapter that we're going into. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So this could have something to do with the full moon eclipse that we just had too. And we did just have one in Sagittarius last month. So it says full moon eclipse and just like that a door slams shut. If you've pulled this card it suggests that the situation that you're asking about is to, or to reach a peak or has just done so and things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for, a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time, as hard as it may, might be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be key to resolving this situation in a positive way. So that does talk about, seriously, the mending, okay? Us needing to mend these relationships. Forgiveness. Um, it doesn't make right what they did, but it releases you so that you can move on. Um, the attuning to the moon says, that which is not meant for me will not pass me by. So anything that is meant for you will never pass you by. For those of you who continue to think that you can make a wrong decision, you can't. Okay, so doors which slam shut now will not reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma. Meditation, pranayama, and yoga nidra are all recommended now. Uh, CD control and let events unfold. Or seed, or seed control and let events unfold. Full moons are nearly always about climaxes and very often about conclusions. Full moon eclipses are the same, but on steroids. A full moon eclipse can be hard to handle because it pretends to change something many of us are uncomfortable with. But change is all a part of life, and this card, no matter when you pull it, reminds you of that fact. Full moon eclipses can also give us a glimpse into what Carl Jung or June called the shadow self, work with your darkness. So, I mean, we are on June 29th, you know, maybe like for me, uh, tomorrow is the last day of me being in the house that I'm in. Where I'm going, I still have no clue. I'm just giving it up to a higher power. So sending off these people with forgiveness, you know, for the way that they treated me and the greed that they have. And I have to like, just let that go and realize that that is something that I needed to uh, experience in this lifetime. I feel like in doing so, it's going to open me up to new found prosperity. You know, it's going to open up a business. It's going to open up, you know, all these different areas. Even your love relationships can also mend. So for some of you who are, you can't mend your differences in a relationship. Again, send them off with love and um, hope and, you know, whatever else you got to send them off with in order to free yourself and clear yourself of the karma, okay? 
So Spirit, please show me for June 29th what messages. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles. There's that prosperity I'm talking about. So for some of you, you could be getting some type of money in the mail or some type of, you know, generosity. Wow, there it is, the death card. I mean, that isn't self-explanatory. I don't know what is. So you're definitely going through a transformation in one more card, Spirit. There it is, Six of Wands. Somebody here getting cocky, the overall energy. We have the Lover's card. So the Lover's is a head and a heart decision, okay? So I do feel like there are some types of relationships that are coming in. I feel like someone here got really cocky and they, uh, because of that cockiness, it, it came to an ending. And I feel like you need to be really mindful of that. Why is the Six of Wands in reverse, the King of Wands? Yep, I talked about cockiness. Okay, not moving forward. Somebody here, you know, not giving you the recognition that you deserve, I feel like. Um, I do feel like if there's any type of blockages right now, it's like it says conclusions are within reach. You are going through some type of a transformation at this time, you know, and I feel like it has everything to do with whatever relationship that is ending in your life at, at right now. I do want to say that with the... Yeah, you want to be mindful that there's not missed opportunities because someone here is being too cocky. For some of you, I feel like um, there's going to be somebody reaching out. Be careful not to have these missed opportunities. Uh, I do feel when I'm looking at the six of wands, which should be all about victory and success, public recognition. I feel like for some of you, maybe you're dealing with some type of a clandestine affair where somebody wants to keep you in the dark or, you know, keep you hidden in the background because they're afraid of showing you off. Uh, this definitely could be also a third party relationship as well. Um, you know, when I do see the theme of three here and then I see the two gentlemen here and they've got their backs turned, so they might not even know each about each other. So there's going to be some type of a transformation, some type of an ending does not have to be men. Also could be women. The lover's card here is about a choice and a decision. I feel like you're needing to go with your heart. Okay. So if there is some type of a relationship that is needing mending, I do feel like this is some type of a divine uh, partnership, whether that's, you know, family, friends, coworkers, it could be a, just a very divinely guided. I do feel like the universe is bringing some type of a love relationship in for some of you, but I feel like it's coming in after this major ending. So for some of you, maybe you're going through like a mini death. Okay. So I don't feel like it's a huge death. I feel like it's a mini death. It's like, Oh, okay. You know what? I needed to make that decision. Okay. It's time for me to go. Kind of like what I was talking about with me moving houses. It's like a mini death. I'm like, Oh, okay. You know, whatever. I got to go. Like I got shit to do and I've got to you know, I've got a life to live and I don't want to live under these pretenses. So I'm just sending it off with forgiveness and love and realizing that this was some type of a past life karma that we're supposed to play out and that we're going to leave it at that. And because of that, it's going to bring in more prosperity for some of you, you know, business is going to be really good today. I feel like, you know, there's is some type of a transformation that you could be helping other people out. Yes, this is you taking back control of your life. Uh, like I said, I do feel like there is some type of monies coming in. Um, it could be like instant, sudden uh, communication and boom, here they are. All in all, I feel like this is actually a really good reading. Uh, you know, mend the relationships that are worth mending and everything else. Just let it all go. Spirit, please show me June 29th. What messages do we have? Okay, unrequited love. There it is. There is not enough attraction to continue to keep this relationship going. That's why it needs to die. That's why the death card is here is because there's no more love in this situation. Like, you guys could really give two shits about each other. You need to go towards your passions and what makes you excited again. I feel like that's going to be really un important for some of you you're dealing with an unrequited love situation but yet the sex is good <laughs> okay how's that working out for you because at the end of the day it ends up leaving you feeling depleted and again you know you end up there it is let your friends help you ask for and so ask uh, accept support from others so for some of you you know and again I said past life relationship you have known each other before so a lot of you guys are definitely needing to end out these past life relationships um, I feel like calling your friends, asking your friends for help. Maybe you need to spend the night at a friend's house. You know, it could be any one of those things. I feel like there is someone here in a place of authority as well that is kind of holding back. You're waiting on somebody to make some type of a decision. Uh, but I feel like you have to, you know, I, it was what I was talking about back a few months ago, how I was like, you know, everybody's waiting to end something and before they start, you know, it's like they want, before they start something new, they want something to end and it's or. 
They want to start something new and then they'll end something. Actually, it's the other way around. You have to end something to make room for it in order for the messages to come in. And then I feel like at that point in time, people are going to um, take action at that time because you're waiting on somebody who is um, the ultimate, like they are the decision maker, okay? And so I feel like you're kind of having to hold on to your money. You're waiting on your ships to come in. I do feel like they're coming in. In the meantime, get your friends together. I feel like making sure that your friends um, are here to help you. I do feel like, you know, somebody here, you know, uh, somebody here is here to help you. Maybe somebody here ends up backing out while somebody else is going to be coming in to help you. I do feel like your friends are definitely here. So even if you can't count on family members, friends are here and it's like, you're almost to the finish line. You know, tomorrow is the 30th. It is the end of the month. People usually move out at the end of the month. We usually have our finish up our two weeks by the end of the month. You know, so whatever is going on at this time, just embrace whatever changes need to happen. Uh, you know, just know that this is definitely a past life situation and get ready. I feel like there's a lot of beautiful uh, things that are coming in. OK, uh, a lot of beautiful brand new beginnings. So make sure that you make the phone calls that are needed to be made. Uh, reach out. I do feel like there's generosity, reciprocity. You do have two six here, two sixes here, which is harmony, balance. Uh, equality, um, it can be uh, family even, you know, and maybe friends that you consider family even. Maybe your friends or your family's like, nah, I'm not helping you. And your fat friends are like, here, I'm here. What can I do for you? Because you're working at cross purposes with one another. Uh, I feel like maybe you have reached out and somebody here might be ignoring you, but there is someone else who is wanting to hear what you have to say. I will tell you, you know, with Venus now in Leo, with Mars in Leo, if it's not tangible, if you can't touch it, see it, feel it, taste it, if people are not going to get on board, you know, people are like, oh, you know, I'm I'm in love with this person, but yet they, they don't reach out or, you know, they don't do this thing or, you know, oh, God, I love my family, but yet they don't call me back or my friends don't call me back. If your friends, if those people around you are not, you know, reaching out and then, you know what, it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to, you know, go towards the people who actually want to celebrate you being there. Um, because otherwise with this moon in Leo, or I'm sorry, with Venus and Mars and Leo, if people are, it, it, fantasy is no longer going to work. Okay. Can't dream these pretty things into existence. They actually have to come to fruition. And I feel like that's exactly what this is. So taking back control of your life and realizing that actually you can have it all and you're worried that yeah, worthy of it all as well. So spirit, please show me, please show me what messages you have for the singles for today. All right, singles, it says new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And we do have the card of passion here, okay? So I feel like this death and transformation, this new beginning that is happening for you guys, no matter what it is, new job, you know, new whatever, I feel like it's taking you to something that is like above and beyond your expectations. And now you'll have an understanding as to why all of these things needed to happen. For those of them that are in an established bond, Spirit, please show you me what messages they, what we have for everyone who is in established bond. Okay, there it is. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I think we got this card yesterday too. And at the top of the deck, we've got deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That's the metamorphosis. You know, it's like you know, the, the caterpillar going in through the chrysalis and becoming the butterfly, right? So, I mean, it takes work and deep in your heart, you already know the answer. So you just need to go through this transformation. So definite new beginnings. Endings always bring in new beginnings, okay? Some of you may not know where your new beginnings lie, but you're just going to have to have trust and faith in the universe and know that your guides and angels are watching over you. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to get tomorrow's video out as soon as possible. And you guys, I love you all so very much. And uh, we'll chat again soon. Take care.